Welcome back guys. Uh, this is the Manjaro i3 desktop. And this is the most confusing desktop I have ever used. Um, now, so far I have figured out that in order to activate programs, you press uh, mod plus D. Now on my Apple keyboard, it's command D. So as you can see up the top of the screen, I've got the uh, programs that I've opened so far. Simple Screen Recorder, Kazam, GU, VC View. If you wanted to open uh, a web browser, uh, let's see, I think, f I want to say Pale Moon is uh, the default browser. So let's type that in. And do you see right there, Pale Moon? Now if I press Enter, we have Pale Moon. So you can't resize any of these windows. So I will cycle through and hopefully you'll be able to see that on this particular desktop I have Pale Moon. Number seven is Simple Screen Recorder and 8 is GUVC view as you can see now if I press command 5 I get another and you can uh, from what I understand yeah, you can go up to 8 so if on uh, desktop number 5 I want to run a different program I can press command D uh, which is called mod D um, and again I'm using a, an Apple keyboard so it's a little bit different and so all you need to do is uh, type in the name of the program that you're looking for and so if you want the file manager I believe that's uh, PC man FM and there it is now I'm sure that sh that I could toggle these and get them all lined up on the same screen um, I haven't quite figured out how to do that let's see if we let's see command if I go to command 4 now I have a new desktop and uh, let's see navigate workspaces mod control and arrow keys so if I press those three keys it just cycles through. And there's the file manager. Now, let's go to a, another one. And we will do number four. Now, there has to be a way to line these up, multiple windows. Tile horizontally tile vertically so if I want to tile horizontally uh, no I think I want to tile vertically so mod and V and that doesn't seem to be doing anything on my other screen so And then you've got mod shift H, which brings up a help panel. So mod shift H. And uh, basically this gives you uh, some information on how to navigate. Now, if you ha haven't used i3 before, you will be pretty much lost as I am. So, uh, but again, if you are familiar with i3, then you'll have no problems at all. Now, uh, let's see, navigate between workspaces, workspace back and forth. Yeah, so I'm sure there's a way to uh, tile all of these, uh, but I haven't quite figured it out yet. So, uh, that is the 
Manjaro i3 desktop. As you can see along the bottom, you have I have simple screen recorder. That's a volume network. It did configure Ethernet and Wi-Fi out of the box. There's the update. Uh, that's Clip It uh, Clipboard Manager. The date, power, network. Don't I'm not using Wi-Fi yet. And this is the amount of free space left on the on the disk. These are all hardware installs, and I'm using 16% of my CPU. So that is uh, the uh, i3 desktop. It's Banjaro's new release, and uh, if it's something that you're normally used to, I think you'll really like it. It's uh, I don't believe it's for the everyday user. It's someone who does a lot of terminal work. <laughs> and uh, would have multiple terminals open on their screen. Uh, and that's not me. So, but it, they did a fine job. And uh, as I said, if you're used to it, I'm sure you'll be fine. So that's it for this video, guys. This is Manjaro i3. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.